so hi guys um if you can't tell already i'm doing a little um kind of a promotion video for the gaming group i'm now part of um and the reason i'm doing this is really to be start my numbers we're up to 2300 now guys that is a hell of a lot of numbers and i've always played on these dry servers and i thought oh, i'd do a little helping out for them so here goes nothing so first off what is tour Tor is an online gaming community called The Art of Warfare, or Tor for short. There are seven corps all together, te technically, with them ranging from games from Company of Heroes, to Star Wars, to Planetside 2, to Armor 2, to Call of Duty, back to World of Warcraft, and down to Minecraft. So we go from across a range of different games and into different corps. Now technically there are only five corps and two and Vanguard and Senator are not two of the seven are technically the seventh, except for the seventh, but we don't count them as corps. So I thought I'd tell you which in which corps you'll be. So say you're interested in joining Tor, technically, if you are. Um, it's a really fun interest we all play together. Um, we just we have great fun, it's all nice and fun, everyone's friendly, it's a family atmosphere, we have to be. No swearing's allowed in here. But if you do want to apply, first thing I think I'll give you is you must be at least 15 years of age or older. It's not up to me guys, if it was up to me I might be put it down to about 13 because I know a lot of 13 year olds are old enough now and they're becoming more uh, mature. But you also must be a mature gamer who is also interested in the team based play. We are a very big team based lot. Um, so, this group has been around since 2001. Um, so, if you're wondering, also, if you want to be at Pry, so yeah, finish the Pry bit off, shall I? You must also have a working microphone so you can talk to other members in your uh, game, because that is important for um, especially games like Armour, which is my division. Um, Stuff like that. You must you must be willing to also commit to uh, to attending two matches slash practices per week. But we also know that real life conf can come should come first, guys. And you can do excuses for that. You can do, or if you miss one, it goes as an A roll. And if you miss, I think it's like four within 13 days, you get a warning. If you do it again, within the next month, it, you get a uh, discharge from tour. So we give you chances to as you can also go on leave for 60 days, 61 days is the max leave. Then we have to dis or you get a regular discharge and you can reapply when you're back. So what we offer in Tor? In Tor we offer a fun structured gaming environment for all our members. All our game divisions hold regular practices or events twice a week. Our field leaders work hard to prepare exciting tournaments, competitions and events so you can rest assured that your fellow division members will show up. Many of our FPS divisions also complete in external competitions slash ladders and our MMO units have constantly performed extremely well on their servers. In addition, the training staff of your division constantly works on new ways to help you improve your game. Tor is not like other gaming clans, in fact we consider ourselves a gaming community. The differences to commitment our members and leaders make to Tor. Many of the members join Tor and stay for years, but they realise they can't find consistently competitive fun games every week in another group. In many cases, as support for games dwindles, Tor continues to be strong month after month, year after year. So if you want to learn more about how to play, just go onto our website at www.tor.net and you can go through the wikis there, you can or you can hit the apply button and apply there. So yeah, that's really it. That's what we offer guys, that's what we offer as tour. We also have different we also have um different positions within tour. Uh so you got uh, many different I think we've got over thirty positions across the entire organisation. We also have like different units. Basically, every game is called a division. Basically, we call it division. So, Armor Two is a division of Tor. The reason I use Armor Two a lot, guys, is that's my division, so I'm using that a lot. Um, that is 
for two thirties edition, army divisions and support divisions. Okay. Um, a division is also is mainly led by a division commander, who is supported by a division officer. They work to manage the day-to-day -day operations of their division, um, and then it's making up to the smaller units, known as battalion. I mean, second battalion and second platoon Delta squad, which is my squad, which is the recruit squad at the moment. Um, I'm only a recruit, but I thought I'd help these guys out because they've helped me out big time at the moment. Um, really got some confidence out of these guys, they've made me think I'm good at this game as well. <laughs> but yeah, so let's look at the different corps. The first corps. The first corps um, consists of Company of Heroes, Ghost Recon, Star Wars, Ghost Recon, Future Soldier, and Counter Strike Global Offensive. That is your first corps, guys. Um, Again, if you'd like, we have a public section for different games. If you'd like to log on to the forums, you can have a look, quick look at the forums and see what kind of things are on the public forums. Once you become a member, you get to go onto the member forums. Okay, sorry about that. And we're back. So it'll be a little break. There won't be nothing for you. But second corps. So let's move on to the second corps now. Second corps when you provide up to three divisions: Plant Side Two, Team Fortress. So Team Fortress is just Team Fortress and try to send. I think Team Fortress is also Team Fortress 2 guys, of course. So the second corps, again, they have their own members for rooms. I obviously don't really pay attention to them. I concentrate on my corps and my division, which is what I'm supposed to be doing. But I have played a couple of Battlefield games on the tours with tour members. Um, which are which we're moving into the third corps, which is Battlefield, the League of Legends and Natural Selection 2. So you guys, if you do play any of these games, um, do have a look, because I do recommend it. Um, we're going to go through a couple more games now. So on to the fourth course. Hey, the best course, <laughs> technically. Because we have Age of Conan, which is an old game, but still a lot of people play it. Um, Armor, which includes Armor 2, Armor 1, uh, Armor, Armor 2, Armor Operation Arrowhead, and, all the, and Armor 3 when it comes out. We're preparing Alpha Squad. Um, preparing to all buy alpha and talk about it. Fifth corpse will be Dota. Oh, um, I didn't. I didn't. I just left it at home, didn't I? World of Tanks is also in fourth corpse, and so is Starcraft, including Starcraft 2. Fifth corpse, um, Dota 2, World of Warcraft, and Quake Wars. We have a good guild in World of Warcraft. Apparently, they're very good. Apparently, very good. Moving on to Vanguard. Vanguard is one of the Weird ones fails that they have Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Far Cry 3, Hawken, MechWarrior Online, Smite, and Star Trek Online. So that's Vanguard, and the last one we have Senatorial Member Forums, which is CA, which is Combat Arms, Guild Wars 2, and Minecraft, and that's also where the Tour University happens. So I'm now going to tell you a bit about my, my division, Armour. Armour is, in my idea, is one of the best games in the world at the moment. Maybe because of the people I'm playing with, <laughs> because they have been amazing. Guys, if you play Armour 2, maybe you got it for the mods, for, um, I mean DayZ. I recommend you guys coming over and seeing what we're about, and all this. Um, We have some amazing things here. We have three battalions, depending on where you live. Um, my I, myself, I'm in the second battalion, but I go through the fir first battalion is CO, or the first battalion will be the North American battalion. Second battalion is the European battalion, and the third battalion is the Ace Mod North American Serv. Uh, battalion. I'm also part of the 2nd Battalion, um, we play out of European time zones, again guys come and check out on the wiki, tells you about our doing stuff, um, we have different programs we run, so we you learn how to become a better player at the game, it's a great idea for learning how to play, um, how you want to, we have combat tips on there, we have basic infantry training, all these different things you guys can learn without uh, you just learn it's a really good idea to go through this stuff and that's about it for armor 
Guys, don't check out the forums, I mean the wikis and the forums. If you'd like to join one of the armor servers, they're also on here. Um, if you go to armor on the wikis, then to the armor division official server list and rules. Or if you're on armor, just go into the filter, type in the search bar tool in capital letters. That's all you need to type in, and you'll find one of our many servers up there. We just released a new server, or it's in beta at the moment, it's the Takistani Insurgency server. It's in beta at the moment, but obviously it's one of the it's a thing that we do. We do have some rules on here. Um, so, I'd like to read those rules quickly on the tour servers, so you guys understand what we do. Um, rules. 1. No excessive amount of swearing. Um, word like damn and hell or acronyms are okay though no racism discrimination or racial slant of any kind guys we do not accept this on our servers i know a lot of people say it and then if it happens and they don't mind it and they let it happen we do not we are very strict on this we have different if you have ideas racial things in your head do not say them on our servers guys we recommend you do not say it you will be kicked and banned from a widespread ban from every tour server no joke we have really started taking cutting down on these guys we cannot take people doing this to members who have come on our server we have a very active public thing um, we support our own servers we donate our own to our own servers so rule number three so we don't want any of this so number three is no as distressful Disrespectful or hateful language directed at other players. That includes player, play, um, public players, and tour members, especially tour members. Don't annoy the admins, guys. Some admins do get annoyed and they'll kick you. Don't come back on and, and rage at them. Just accept the kick because they probably kicked you for a reason. It really is. Um, number four: no irrational or revenge, team killing, or object destruction slash stealing. So don't go, say someone kills you by accident, you don't go respawn, then go find them and then kill them themselves. That's not what you do guys, you you talk to an admin, you go to talk to a tour guy, there's many of us on the server, there's usually about one or two of us definitely on the server at any time, and often there's more, especially during the night where I AM1 turns up and they go on the US servers, especially Acer and the Ace. Ace and Acre. So rule number five, no excessive amount of irrelevant communication, map markers or audio tracks on any channel. That means you do not play songs down at uh, in-game drums. The reason we're saying that this guys is mainly just because we don't want it. Some people don't like it, some people like it, and it's fine, but a lot of people don't. We don't like irrelevant communication on like side channel, people just having a nice little chat around for their Two meters from each other. Um, we have a team speak server that you guys can join. Just ask the member to drag you down. We will happily do that for you. Just ask anyone to drag you, and they will drag you from the tour. You can recognize anyone in the AM group because in the tour server on the um, team speak, we will have a uh, bracket in square brackets. We have AM, and depending on what um, battalion we're in, we have one, two, or three. So you don't understand who is from who. So that's rule number five. Rule number six, no use of air support or artillery and AO or side missions without coordination and support ground use. This is to stop people just destroying the AO before anyone else has a chance to play it. It's not fair on the old people. If they want to play this, they want to they want to do it. Um, but yeah, so don't just bomb everything guys, because you often get team kills that way. We've had many idiots just jump onto the artillery and start hitting targets randomly and just start firing and hit about 20 of our guys as they were moving in for the AOs for about to get stuff ready. So no use of the air assets or wreck chopper for personal solo transport. That means you don't just jump in a chinook which is a 20 person chopper I believe or a bit more than that. And you're by yourself, and you don't just fly to the AO. You don't do that, guys. Um, you see if anyone else needs a lift. A lot of people will need lifts. If you don't, there is a teleport thing on the domination servers on the Takistan insurgency. There's some Humvees you can use. Um, so you get some people in the Humvee. Get a few people in the Humvee at a time. For I think you get 
five people in a Humvee at a time. So get five people in a Humvee. The hit one. This is probably one of the biggest ones. Do not impersonate a tour member. This can cause to... Um, also, that basically means don't wear our tour tags. If you see a guy on the service you're seeing with, and you're recognising from tour, because he'll have, in fact, because there's tour underscore, and then his name. That or Don't act like an admin either, etc. So basically like that. Or, this is a big or, underline this all with 500 lines do not recruit for outside communities this would lead to immediate ban we do not allow this it's mainly because these are our servers guys go on someone's server that allows you to do that if you'd like to donate guys you can there are links on the website there's links to tell you how to do it uh, you can send an email to someone um, check the channel check there's on one of the server rules so yeah guys it's in the public forums, armor 2 combined operations, sticky, it's in the sticky official public server and rules, it tells you how you can do, how you can help, um, donate. So yeah guys, we've, I'm coming to the end of this video now, it's been 16 minutes and 15 seconds as I'm about to say now. Uh, <laughs> but when you join guys, um, there's a bit at the end where it says, who has recruited you? If a tournament does recruit you, who is it? Make sure you guys say Dredgy. Um, not Dredgy456, we so won't know who that is. It's Dredgy. Now, you, this is a great way to play armor with me, guys. Um, we play Daisy Mod with this, we play Wasteland, we play all different things with this. This is a great way of guys just to learn how to play with us. Uh, it's great ready to get into a tactical team. I know some people can't play because they're too young, but I recommend it, guys. I really do. And if you're not sure on how, if you want to come and uh, join the member of the tour. Watch some of my videos going to be coming out. I'm going to be recording a couple of videos soon of me and the tour guys playing some uh, either insurgency or common domination. Probably insurgency because we're beta testing that for brothers. I think it's Kinsey. Shout out to Kinsey. He's been a massive help. Um, he, I was, I've been testing these servers for him, just jumping on every day. Now, just quickly to let you know for the armor, um, we have a moto with a motto, a slogan and a creed. Now, our motto is adapt and overcome. That's our motto. Our slogan is tactical focus, strategic, strategic, excellent. And our creed, which is will be A-R-M-A. A is for attitude, equals positive, cooperative. R is for respectful of the positions and duties. M is for mature in behavior and conduct. A is accountable as a part of a team. There's no I in team, guys. So, yeah. Thanks guys for watching. I have been Dredgy for Versus. I hope you guys join tour and come speak to me on the server. Um, I've obviously have seen me around. I'm always on there once. Only on there once a day. I'm there for every practice. I'm there for the optional practices usually as well if I can help it. And I'm also there for the Ace mods uh, Fridays and Saturdays because I need to learn that because it's really fun, guys. Um, yeah guys if you do join there will be a you get a little briefing so you get to go over the state you get to go over a bit of this data before teach you some mods that you need to download for our practices we use a mod called Acre which is just radios and I'll show you guys how to use that in a mod probably a tutorial coming up soon so guys this video is nearly 20 minutes long I was only going to make it like 10 minutes so Tom doubled the long I didn't realise how long it's going to be um, so thanks guys for watching you guys have been amazing I've been Dredgy this has been Tor so join it now